technologies offer opportunities which are of course not infinite, but are greater than those imagined by early developers. With these words, the semiologist Gian Paolo Proni describes the exploiting of technological innovations. But what can companies do to approach new technologies? Let's consider an example, leveraging two dimensions. On one end, the performance of the technology itself, and on the other, the meaning, the language used to give to the product the reason why customers will use it. Considering the console game industry, companies focus on a specific meaning. They leverage the game experience to create incredible virtual realities. In this exploitation process, they substitute technologies, leveraging the same meaning and offering more powerful consoles, giving to the market what it was asking for. Nintendo, with the Nintendo Wii, has been able to see a quiescent meaning, leveraging accelerometers to offer a new reason why. They move the game experience within the real world and challenge the status quo. They reduce the computational power, they work on games graphically less sophisticated, but they gave a new reason why, having a game console to play with the real people in the real world. This path is defined as technology epiphany. Since companies can find a new meaning, a new reason why, exploiting the opportunities provided by a technology. But what companies should do to foster technology epiphanies? Let's consider another case, the GPS store-by-tour navigation industry. When the smartphones approached the market, several companies, both existing and new entrants, leveraged a technology substitution strategy. They relied on the new device offering the same meaning repeating the previous paradigm in the new technological domain. Waze has been able to offer something different, challenging the other companies. In their perspective, a GPS navigation system can be used not just to find the right way when the user does not know it, but to find the best way according to the traffic situation in that moment in time, even if he already knows the path, leveraging their mission as smart traffic together. Through this case study, a five-step process to unveil the potentialities provided by new technologies can be highlighted. First, companies need to unveil opportunities hidden in the technology, such as the internet connection and the chance to have a real-time data exchange. Then, they need to translate the opportunity into a new meaning, like transforming a standalone activity like driving in a collective experience. At this point, they need to develop new features to reveal the new meaning such as the chance to provide data and information regarding the real-time traffic situation and an algorithm that may change the path during the driving. Finally, companies need to adapt their business model to the new environment, in this case offering the product for free and searching for new value capturing mechanisms, and then adapt also the development process to the new environment, for example updating also the maps in real time and not just a few times over a year. This process can help companies in pursuing this strategy to unveil the opportunities provided by new technologies, challenging the dominant paradigm on the market. This study is based on two fields, the GPS storm by turn navigation industry and the marine navigation apps. Taking into consideration 15 mobile apps through secondary sources and has been published in Creativity and Innovation Management in 2015. This research has been carried out by Tommaso Buganza, Claudio Dellera, Elena Pellizzoni, Daniel Trabucchi and Roberto Berganti, part of the leading lab of the Leadership Design and Innovation Laboratory at the School of Management of Politecnico di Milano. To get more information about the literature background and references, the methodology and the analysis of the case studies, please refer to the published article or directly contact the authors through the link in the description of this video.